Maine's Public Utilities Commission says sky-high electricity bills cannot be the way law enforcement finds illegal pot growing operations. Good evening everyone, I'm Brian Yukono. And I'm Amanda Hill. That ruling from the PUC announced this morning, and it's one that weighed customer privacy against the need to locate those operations. News in Maine's Leanne Stapleton joining us live in the studio tonight with the latest on this case. And in this case, privacy is what won out here. Yeah, exactly. Over the last eight to nine months or so, sheriff's departments in several Maine counties have raided dozens of homes that were bought, burrowed out and gutted all for the purpose of growing marijuana. One thing nearly all of them had in common, a surge in the amount of power they were using. Sheriff's office! Sheriff's office! As we've seen some instances of people with large scale illegal growing operations and residential properties here in northern eastern Maine, we started to get a lot of requests from law enforcement for information regarding some of these suspected grow houses. Illegal marijuana grow houses have been popping up more frequently in Maine. Uh, the, the grow houses were using way more electricity in some cases than their residential wiring could accommodate without creating a real danger of fire. Since they use so much electricity, Verse and Power put forward an idea to the Maine Public Utilities Commission targeting these operations. This was a conversation strictly about people that were using marijuana growing operations in an unsafe way and were able to be identified through certain characteristics of that unsafe usage. However, the Maine PUC turned that proposal down on Tuesday in a unanimous vote. Uh, we don't want utilities to be selling information or to be sharing private customer information, whether that's usage or personally identifiable information about where they live and so forth. Other concerns brought up included the chance that lawful growing operations or even just someone who uses more power than normal could be reported. Categories that they were providing, it seemed that they were pretty broad. And our concern is that it's really not the, the role for the utility, at least as we historically have defined it, uh, to be monitoring sort of behavior of customers and then reporting suspicious activity. While safety was top of mind for Versant. We had a couple of situations where meter readers went to these residences and found that the actual electric meter on the house was in excess of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Company leaders say privacy is also a top priority. And at no time have we shared customer information with anyone, including law enforcement, without a subpoena or a warrant. So, you know, that continues to be our practice and will continue to work with law enforcement in the way that we're allowed to do. And if this trend of illegal growing operations continues, the Maine PUC says more may need to be done. If there's a particular issue around growing operations that needs to have a larger discussion, then I think the legislature would be an appropriate place for that. And Judy Long says Verson is willing to have conversations in the future on how to tackle illegal grow operations, but they understand the concerns around privacy, Brian and Amanda. Well, we heard Leanne from Versant. How does Central Maine Power fall mm -hmm. on this? Yeah, they weren't directly involved in this, but CMP has gone on the record to say that utilities should not be reporting people's uh, or customers' po uh, customers' power usage to law enforcement. So that's their stance mm -hmm. on this. All right, Leanne Stapleton, live in our studio tonight. Leanne, thank you.